This is Ellen. Well, this isn't Ellen. This is Ellen's machine. But if you're looking for Ellen, and frankly, who isn't? She's not here. She's out. Well, she's here now because she's leaving this message. But she'll be back soon. And if you leave a message after the beep, she'll call you back. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye. I'm a goon. <laughs> Friday, you promised you'd fix my clutch today. The brakes? Well, there's nothing wrong with the brakes. Yeah, I know what brake shoes are. I have a pair. I also have some brake socks. It's a joke. You can use it if you want to. You don't have to get nasty. Yeah, fix the brakes. And the carburetor. Okay, do whatever you have to do. Bye. So what'd you bring the car in for in the first place? Gas. <laughs> Last time I do full service. <laughs> you know, Adam, the only two differences I've noticed since you moved out are that my rent's doubled and you're here more often. I was out of cereal. Luckily, I stocked up before the big cornflake embargo. <laughs> hey, Ellen. Hey, Adam. Hey. Ready to go? Yep. Wow, you look nice. Why so dressy? Uh, the new manager I hired starts today. I want to make a good first impression. Ellen, you're his boss. I know. I hope he likes me. <laughs> We're going. Okay. You need more milk. Put your bowl in the sink when you're done. Ellen, I'm a guest. Well, this is great. With this new manager, you get to take a day off every once in a while. I know. It's going to be such a relief not to have to work 12 hours a day, seven days a week. Ellen, shh. This is Cobra. We're just walking. But why not laugh? Would you keep it down? <laughs> Sorry, Miss Cobra. We're trying to be quiet. That's you trying to be quiet? Ha! Thought I heard a buffalo was stampeding by. <laughs> Maybe I was right. Listen, uh, give we'll me... Be, we'll be more considerate next time. Ha! <laughs> I know. Four years of this. One day I'm going to really let her have it. Now, shh. Tippy toe. <laughs> Tippy toe. Is this exciting? A new member's joining our little family? Jeepers, yes. I was really lucky to get him, too, because he used to be an executive at the World of Books chain. Huh. Corporate executive, manager of this place. Hmm. I guess there is something I need to tell you about, Lloyd. Um... Apparently, he did leave his last job a little early because of a very minor emotional collapse, but he's all better now. And, and the only reason I even bring it up is so that you're careful not to say anything insensitive to him. Oh, I can be very sensitive. Uh, in fact, for a while, I was considering becoming a therapist. Really? No, yeah, but my guidance counselor steered me away from it because of my mocking, callous personality. Hi, Lloyd. Welcome to Buy the Book. Thank you for having me, Ellen. This job is just what I needed. You're my savior. Ah, well, boss will do. And I want you to know you did not make a mistake. My problems are behind me. I am completely prepared to function in a workplace again. Whew. Forgot about all this pressure. This is just the morning rush. It'll pass. Huh. Uh, I want you to meet our coffee man, Joe Farrell, Lloyd Chomney. Chomney. Hi. Now, I want you to know that you're more than just a manager. You're the expert. I want to hear all your ideas on how to make the store better. Well, uh, you could make some changes in the atmosphere around here, add a little music, rearrange a few things. And, of course, eliminate the most glaring drain on your profits. What's that? <laughs> hey! Well, I love Joe serving coffee to the customers. <laughs> now, I'm not talking about eliminating the coffee area entirely, but there's no reason why Joe can't continue to run his operation from a small cart on the sidewalk. <laughs> that sounds like a very reasonable idea, but before we go any further with it, I'd like to remind everyone that Lloyd here is an acknowledged fruitcake. Oh, <laughs> there's no need for name-calling. It's all right. I've had a lot of therapy. And I am not going to be bothered by these silly, childish taunts from Donut Boy. Oh, isn't that cute? We already have nicknames for each other. This is great. Fruitcake and Donut Boy. I wonder what my nickname's going to be. Does it have to be a pastry? Okay, Scone. You can call me Scony Girl. I'll be in my office. Hey, Joe. Where's Ellen? In there. Thanks. Hi, I'm Paige. Hi. So, how's the new manager working out? It's terrible. They hate each other. No kidding. It's like Vietnam out there. What are you doing in here? This is like Canada. <laughs> All right. Admit it, Ellen. You're afraid of conflict. I mean, that, like that thing this morning with that old bat. I would have just let her have it. Oh, yeah, great. And then I'd be worried constantly about Miss Cobra scratching my heart or jumping out of the bushes and beating me up. <laughs> She's in her 70s. She works out. She's got quite a left hook when the weather's not damp. 
You know what? You ought to go out there and just knock their heads together. You're the boss. Get mad. Don't swallow your anger. Well, I've developed quite a taste for my anger. Mmm, <laughs> that's good anger. <laughs> Seriously, Paige, I'm not an angry person. I have a different approach to problem solving than you. Mm -hmm. That's right. You approach, you see the problem, and then you run. Oh, this is a carefully thought out managerial technique. I am giving them their time and space that they need to work out their differences. The moment I feel like they need me, I'm out there. Hey, that almost hit my head. Oops, butterfingers. Just waiting for a sign, and then I go. You made this mess, Joe. You clean it up. I was throwing the mug at you. You clean it up. Well, I'll clean it up with your face. Are we going to go? Are we going to go? Because if we're going to go, let's go. Bye-bye. Thank you for coming. Hey, hey sit, sit down, please. Sit down. I'd like to work on the way that we're communicating with each other. Instead of name-calling, let's constructively express ourselves with sentences beginning with, I feel. For instance, I feel sad that my employees aren't getting along better. Lloyd, are you ready to express yourself? I feel uncomfortable because Joe is not respecting my boundaries. Good. Good. All right. Joe, are you ready to respond? I think so. I feel Lloyd should bite me. Joe, that could be taken two ways. Oh, sorry, I'm late. I hope you're not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. What's another 45 minutes? Anything to extend this gem of a day? You're mad. I'm not mad. Paige, I'm not mad. I mean, if I were to get mad today, I, I could have gotten mad when Joe mooned Lloyd. Or I could have gotten mad when Lloyd mooned Joe. Could have gotten mad when Joe and Lloyd mooned me and accidentally Mrs. Henderson's fourth grade field trip. And I could have gotten mad when Mrs. Henderson mooned me, but I didn't. I didn't get mad then, and... Flimsy chairs. Let's go. <laughs> What's all the commotion? No, oh, it's just you. Miss Cogar, I had a long day. I just want to go to my apartment. I'm terribly sorry if I disturbed you. Well, why don't you spend less time being sorry and more time being quiet? Huh? Is this really all you have time for? Is just to wait for me to pass by so you can abuse me? Because if it is, let's really make it worth your while, okay? H how's this, better? <laughs> or how about this? <laughs> or why stop there? You could follow me around all day long. I make noise all day. I make noise when I drive. I make noise when I work. I even make a little bit of noise when I sleep. <laughs> Oh, yes, Fabio, feed me the baby carrots. I mean, you could spend your entire day screaming at me. Wouldn't that make your rich, full life more complete, huh? Yeah, there, there's a lot more where that came from, too. Tomorrow? No, tomorrow is no good. No, you promised my car would be ready today, and that's when I want it. And if it isn't ready, then you're the one who's going to be needing some repairs. Are we clear? Are we clear? I thought so. Wow. Oh, that's nothing. You should have seen me last night. Boy, I gave that old bag a taste of her own Metamucil. I realized that I do have... I mean, I do have anger, and it felt good. And as for you, you're through freeloading off of my breakfast foods, and you need a shave. What's wrong? It was horrible. I went into Mrs. Coger's apartment to fix her sink, and she was just sitting there slumped over, face down in a bowl of stew. Eating? Dead. I killed her. I killed a human being. And you know what they say, once you've killed the first one, the next one's easy. My God, I'm on a spree. Ellen, you didn't kill her. Yeah, and that's the story we all have to stick with. Just such a horrible image. I may never eat stew again. And thank God it wasn't clam chowder. I love clam chowder. Hi, I'm looking for the building manager. Oh, uh, yes, officer, that would be me. Sir, we just want to let you know we've taken away the body. Oh, 
poor old woman just covered in stew. Oh, it wasn't stew, sir. It was clam chowder. No. No! Poor guy. He's so upset. We're, we all are. We all love Mrs. Coger. I spoke to her just last night. What time? Oh, around nine. But out of curiosity, what time did she die? Well, it's hard to pinpoint exactly, but it was somewhere between 9.04 and 9.08. So it's pretty much anybody's guess. So you spoke to her at nine, just before she died. What? Uh, oh, no, I can see where the confusion would be. No, when I say nine, I, I, I just say nine sometimes uh, when I don't know what time it is. For instance, ask me what time it is right now. Nine, see? I don't know. That's just, that's how I, I'm up at the crack of nine. I work from nine to nine. I get home in time for the nine o'clock news. Look at you, you got a nine o'clock shadow. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll just be on my way. Okay. Protect and serve. Serve and protect. Did you hear that? I'm a murderer. You are not a murderer. She drowned in a bowl of clam chowder. Oh, sure. Everybody's always so quick to blame the chowder. No, it was my anger that killed her. Yeah, that'll never happen again, though. Because from now on, it stays bottled up right inside of here where it belongs. It's too late for Miss Coger. But I can still save others from Ellen's dance of death. <laughs> Ellen, all you did was yell at her. She lived a full life. She was old. Exactly, exactly. Her poor heart couldn't take it. And I didn't just yell at her either. I mean, I really tore into her. I was vicious. And I could sense her weakened too, but did I back off? No, I went right for the jugular. And you want to know something? I liked it. I liked it. Hey, Helen, I made a few changes. What do you think? Great. Great. Isn't this music a little, uh... Well, first of all, is this music? Yes. It keeps customers moving. It was the secret to my success at World of Books. The rhythm is gonna get ya. Yeah, oh, it's getting me. <laughs> hey, look over here. I took out the coffee area. More room for books. Where's Joe? Coffee. Biscotti. Somebody shoot me. Coffee. Biscotti. Kill me now. Joe? Ellen, they can stop. Tell him I don't have to do this. Ellen, I thought we agreed to try some of my ideas. Well, yeah, I guess we did. Fine, and I quit. Oh, Joe, you can't quit. How will we replace you? I mean, who else knows how to make coffee? Oh, that's right, everyone. <laughs> Please make him stop. I look ridiculous. Hey, just give it a try, okay? I, I'll talk to Lloyd. Coffee, biscotti. Please end my suffering. <laughs> Lloyd, I have to tell you that uh, this is not the bookstore that I want to own. <laughs> now, let's go back to the old chairs. Oh, fine. I, I was confused. I thought you went into business to make money. Well, yes, I did. But Look, I... little lady, I've been in the book business a few years more than you have. You want profit? You do it Lloyd's way. <laughs> Gee, I wish you wouldn't have just called me little lady. Something like that can make me angry. I, only one person's ever seen me angry, and now I'm on my way to her funeral. <laughs> Do we have to go to this? Hey, when I kill someone, I go to their funeral. It's just the way I was brought up. If everyone would please be seated. I think this will give me some closure. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> Even when a person has lived a long, full life as Beverly Coger did, upon their passing, it is only natural to ask the question, why? Why was our beloved Beverly taken from us? Now that this is helping, huh? Now, if anyone would care to remember Beverly in their own special way, please feel free to speak. I was sitting on my keys. Well, there's punch and cookies in the lobby. Thank you all for coming. Hey, wait, hold, hold it. This, that's no way to, to say goodbye to dear Mrs. Coger. I've got something to say. Oh, dear. Uh, <laughs> hey, ma'am, don't bogart the Oreos. Well, what can I say about Beverly? Bev. Bo <laughs> Apartment two. Woman. Senior citizen. Great hearing. I killed her. See what else? What do you mean you killed her? I screamed at her four to eight minutes before she died. There was dancing. I don't want to get into it. It wasn't pretty. You think you killed her because you yelled at her? Yes. 
miss. A little yelling wasn't going to hurt my aunt. She screamed and got screamed at every day of her life. She only had one way of communicating with people, and that was at the top of her lungs. I mean, we all loved her. We all loved her. But the fact is, when a person only knows how to scream, they're kind of tough to get along with. And, well, when they finally die, well, you're kind of glad. <laughs> This is my store. I make the rules. I'm not angry now, but I could get angry. And if I do, that's okay, too. So from now on, it's my way or the highway. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Yeah. I like how my way and the highway rhyme. Yeah. It's, it's not too much? It's, no, it's okay. good. Yeah, what about that hand thing? Oh, the hands is a good touch. Okay. Yeah. You're spinning a little bit too much. Oh. A little is good. Don't overdo it. Did I hit you? <laughs> Here I go. Thank you. What's books for socks? What's my new promotion? Books for socks. What part of it don't you understand? Oh, sir, forgot you change. Pressure got to you again, didn't it? Sort of. You're fired, Lloyd. Thank you. But I'm rich. <laughs> rich, I tell you. Take C. Take C. Well, Joe, it's just you and me again. Yeah, everything back to normal. You know, in a way, I'm gonna miss Lloyd. <laughs> Coffee, biscotti, who had the thong? Oh, I did great to walk past this door not worry about getting screamed at. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Sorry, you scared me. Not that you're scary, you're not, you're very pretty, but... Yeah, you're pretty scares me. You're pretty scary. You know, I'm just scared by pretty. One time I saw uh, Elle McPherson and Cindy Crawford having coffee and, oh, you know. Uh, and the whole the Miss America pageant, big Friday the 13th movie to me. I'm Gwen. Hi, I just moved in. Oh, hi, I'm Ellen. Hi, I'm, I'm Adam, uh, building manager. If you need anything, I'm right upstairs. Excellent. Thanks. Okay, well, bye. Oh, uh, one thing. When you go past my door, could you keep it down? 